G'day guys, today I'm going to be talking about variable fan speed controllers. These are compatible with most ceiling fans and most exhaust fans. So, this here is the instruction manual for this Clipsal variable speed controller. So one leg from this variable controller will go into a switch so you can toggle the on and off of the fan and the other leg will go into your active power. So we'll talk a little bit more about that in another video. Just wanna talk about why you would use a switch like this. So a switch like this is great for when you want a little bit more speed control. It works like a dimmer. It limits the amount of power that the fan motor can have rather than just having three speeds as most fans come as, just with the three speed. And maybe that won't be enough, particularly for um, uh, commercial graded fans because sometimes their motors go a bit fast. So you're going to want to tie this in with a switch. So this is just HPM um, 10 amp switches. Good enough to work with your variable. So one of these legs, it doesn't matter which, is going to tie into the switch and I will do a whole wiring diagram with an actual fan later. I just want to show you and then the other one will go into your power and then you can switch the switch on and then you use this to control the speed of the fan. So let's talk about grid plates. So you can get a double grid plate with a switch in the fan knob or you can get a triple grid plate that I've got here today um, if you're going to be using a light switch. Um, a lot of the time there's heaps of these on the wall and there's one for the light, one for the fan and then something else and it's just too much. So just integrate it all here um, and have your fan controller and switch there and then you're dedicated for a light there. So I normally say, okay, well, look at the room. When I walk in this door here, I'm going to be touching this switch first. So that's where our fan switch is going to, that's where our light switch is going to go in first. Just pop that into your grid plate and make sure it's the right way. It just pops in like that, see? And make sure it's in the right way uh, so that you've got the smooth edge there and the little thing that has the etched in uh, amount of amps that this can take and whatnot and voltage. So now we want to put our um, dimmer like uh, knob thing here. What you need to do is just pop this off. This will just pop off this little thing uh, so that you can actually get it. And what I like to do is put it on the far right hand side. Okay, just pops in like that so that the switch will be next to it. Okay, and then you just got you just want to pop another switch in next to it. All right, so now we've popped the switches in and they are the right way up. Uh, now we can put the knob back on if we want. All right, so we've got the knob on and two switches. So um, obviously that's gonna be for your fan. So one of these legs has to go in there, has to go in the uh, correct socket. And we'll, we'll talk about wiring up, wiring it up with an actual fan at some point. Um, and the other one ties into your normal just active power. So, this is going to be the light, and this is going to be what turns on the fan. So the way, instead of going uh, off one, two, three, the way it works is you start it, you just turn it on, and then you can slowly adjust the speed. Otherwise, if you just toggle it on and off, it'll be on whatever that speed is, it'll just pick up whatever that um, the amount of um, power that's going to provide the fan. These variable controllers can be really, really good, um, but they can be really bad for the fan as well. So, um, depending on your fan model, uh, particularly HPM and Clips will seem to deal pretty well with these varies. Um, but other brands, um, particularly residential ones, non-commercial ones may not take variable as well, um, which may leave some motor growling, motor noises and really annoying things. So what you can do if you want to put one of these varied controllers in is start it on high. So turning it clockwise is going to make it go faster and anti-clockwise makes it go slower. Okay, and it does seem really stupid because this, because of the way this is 
HT, and it does seem really, really stupid, but that's the way it works. So you remember, just clockwise makes it go faster, and anti-clockwise makes it go slower. And that's just the way it works. So on, off, speed, light. Pretty simple. Uh, I'm going to be getting this one installed for this particular HPM ceiling fan here. So we'll replace this um, light there. Just have a light to turn the fan on and off there as well. So it'll probably go this way. So get your light there and then your fan. Thanks for watching. If you have any other questions, uh, just let me know. But otherwise, these are a great little tool. Uh, Clips will sell these at the moment for about 50 to 100 bucks. Can pick up a HPM one if you need to. Um, particularly if you've got a HPM fan, it's probably a good idea. Thanks for watching.